Mahatma Gandhi said the culture of the people is known by the way they treat or take care of the animals. Charles Fourier said one could judge the degree of civilization of a country by the social and political position of its women. Charles Fourier, born 7th April 1772 in France, died on 10th October 1837, was a French philosopher, an influential early socialist thinker and one of the founders of utopian socialism. Women, he said, position, social and political position. When you give them, you, are, you can know the country's character and the country's cleanliness and the country's growth and the country's love only if the women are in social and political position. From time immemorial, that was the respect, equal respect. They were not asking for any top position. When Charles Fourier said, one could judge the degree of civilization of a country by the social and political portion of its women, degree of civilization comes from a family. When family is not there, whatever position you give them, political or social position, there is no value. The social position in the, the house of running a joint family. It's the greatest power. It, co it connects and combines the position of the women in the political front also because her thinking and the man's thinking. Man is outside in the vast wilderness, in the jungle, fighting the materialistic world, the industrial revolution, and then trying to find out how to bring in money and women in the house, a massive social build-up of trying to understand oh, in the joint family, she's become so powerfully experienced. She becomes a doctor. She becomes a dietitian. She becomes the power of the rainwater harvesting and the solar because she's melting with the nature. Because almost every day in the joint family, there is a child is born, a lady gets pregnant, a death happens, a birth happens, a child keeps going, just enters into the school, a child just completes education, enters into the university, gets a job, non-stop. And the man outside, non-stop trying to find out how his position can be promoted or in the field, how we can grow more crops together. That is the real transformation which was not available in the Western countries because Charles said was 1772 to 1837. Maybe the 200 years should be the Industrial Revolution time when families were broken. There is no respect between man and women. Everybody is trying to grab in through greed and the Western civilization found out a method of robbing countries of the countries, invading countries of the countries because nothing was available in the country. It's not that even if they have little, they could have enjoyed it, but they couldn't have that little because the family, when the family is broken, they couldn't find love when they were searching for love. When they searched for love, they thought, let us invade and keep it with us. That robbery happened. Charles Fourier said, one could judge the degree of civilization. So if you go to any countries outside, you can find civilization is broken. There is no connecting link at all. The hand doesn't move the leg. The leg doesn't move the brain. The brain doesn't move the, with the heart. I think it can be most of the countries are having cerebral palsy. Because coordination was not there. Yes. And they do not know how to connect it back because the greed is dragging them further and further into the death trap. And the competition of the business community, the capitalist, 
on one side, the socialists on another side, both are greed on war. Either way, it's not allowing people to be independent. And then you can find it is just war and war and war and to stop the war diseases come in between to tell them your big bombs fighter jets have got no value in front of my disease you do not know how to stop my disease and they have not found out how to stop the disease because disease can be stopped only through the love the civilization of a country by the social political position of its women when you you disconnect you went for a war do you think social position and political position come for the women you have destroyed you are talking that america and the western countries have given women more power but after destroying them everything you're trying to give them power what is the use of power when they cannot find love when they cannot see their own daughters, grandchildren living together, eating together, taking baths together. Disease is spreading. They are thinking they are doing freedom, but indirectly they have destroyed the freedom totally. They cut out the roots and they planted the plant. It stays one day with a little bit of spray or other things. It is dying that the western countries must understand we are a little lucky in india that love is still beautiful children can walk into any house they don't need to take an appointment with the father and mother but in western countries can you believe they have to wait they have to find out when they go with the father and mother can you believe the mother has to pay for mother's food, father has to pay for child has to pay for child's food. What kind of culture it is? And you thinking the, the degree of civilization of country by the social and political position of its women. How do you do that? Today I heard somebody was telling you how to understand women, how to judge women. You don't have to judge women, it seems. First, you have to judge yourself. You call your own women, your own girls, angels, and to, but at the same time, you, you have not created heaven. Angels don't stay in hell. They stay in heaven. I loved that one. So when you have destroyed the women, put them in hell, and gave them a position, social, political position, you are thinking you are something great. And then you go for a war, looting countries after countries that needs changes and that is the civilization that is the position what Mahatma Gandhi the culture of the people is known by the way they treat the animals culture of the people is known by the way they treat their family joint family and family if they are not connected these three don't talk to them you don't make any friendship because you are known by the company you keep women